Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you some tips and tricks in Notepad that you probably didn't know existed. I hope you will learn something new today. Let's get started. First one, how to start Notepad using your keyboard shortcut. Hold down the window key plus the R. This will bring up the run dialog box in the lower left corner. And here simply type the word Notepad and hit enter or press the OK button. And this will launch a new Notepad instance. Next, how to insert a date timestamp using your keyboard. Simply press the F5 key on your keyboard. And here you can see it printed the, the current date and time. You can also do the same thing by going to the edit menu and selecting the time date function. And here it shows you the keyboard shortcut as well, F5. Next, how to insert a date timestamp each time you open a file in Notepad, like a logbook. The tip is you type the following, dot L-O-G, capital. And let's go ahead and save this. Control S to save, and we'll call it my log file. Press save. I already have a file saved. And now the trick is every time I open this log file, it will print the current date and time. So let me go ahead and hold down Control O and we'll press this and open. And you can see it inserted today's date and time. Hello, YouTube. And hit enter a couple of times. Do a save. Let's go ahead and open another one or open the same file. And you can see, you can see how the time changed 3.47 p.m. to 3.48 p.m. Next, do a save. Control O to open the file again. And so on. So every time it will print out a date timestamp which is pretty neat. Let me go ahead and close this, save it. Next, let me show you how to customize the header and footer in Notepad. In order to do that, you can go ahead and go to File, Page Setup. And here, I was playing around earlier, but I will go ahead and explain this. So here is the header and the footer section. Let me open up a different file for reference. And this is the file that I'm talking about. So here, this is a list of header and footer commands for Notepad. You can see the date has a ampersand D, timestamp is ampersand T, and so on down the list. So for the header, I chose to go ahead and add the date, so it will print the date on the top, and the footer, I told it to go ahead and print page dot space, and then I said ampersand p, so this should print the page number. But I will not be printing this to a paper format because that's not efficient, so I'll go ahead and print this in a PDF document so you can see the header and the footer. Let me go ahead and click OK. And I believe I already had a document open. No, I did not. So notepad, and I will use a quick auto hotkey script that I wrote. So I will iterate 150 times. And this will print one through 150. I'll do a save. List numbers, yes. And let me go ahead and print this to the PDF. So to do that, I'll press down the control P and here, Microsoft to PDF. Click print, list number outputs, save, yes. And let's go ahead and open this PDF that we just created, list number output. So here you can see in the header section, here's the date. And if we scroll down, here's page one. Again, today's date. 
page two and so on page three and page four so this is pretty neat that you can put different values here in the header and the footer of the notepad it is kind of interesting that you don't see the header footer in the actual notepad editor but it is there in the background next let me show you how to jump to a specific line in order to do that hold down the control g and this will say go to line since i know i have 150 lines here let's go ahead to 125 hit enter and here you can see i'm on line 125 you can see my cursor another nice feature you can also turn on your uh, bottom uh, status bar so you can see mine is turned off i think by default it comes turned off so if i turn it on it tells you line 125 column one so if i go with my cursor over here this is column six so it's just a position of your cursor so it's something that you can reference because notepad doesn't have line numbers like many other text editors have but at least they offer you this at the bottom next let me show you how to zoom in and out using the mouse and keyboard shortcuts so if you want to zoom in hold down the control key and go with the mouse wheel up and this will start zooming in you can see down here it shows you the zoom level currently it's 250 and i believe you can go all the way up to 400 actually 500 yeah so 500 is your max zoom level if you want to zoom back out hold down the control key and go with the mouse down scroll down and this will start zooming out and i believe you can go small as 10 percent wow that is very small and if you want to go to the default zoom level hold down the control plus the zero and this will go back to 100 percent so it's just something to keep in mind you can zoom in and out next let's go ahead and do some shortcuts to find and replace i have a document here and we can go ahead and find something so let me see let's go ahead and look for reading i'll go ahead and copy this i'll do a control f for find and here i will look for reading and you can also do a match case and you can also wrap around for now i'll just leave it unchecked and here is the function so it found three readings you can also do a replace using your keyboard which is control h and here we'll say let's replace video with picture how about we'll wrap around there you go that's the trick to wrap it around i will go ahead and click replace 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 you can even replace all so now you can see it used to say video and now it's saying picture so it has a replace function as well and the lastly you can also change your font if you don't like this font you can go to format and font and i prefer the consola regular 11 points that's my preference but you can see they have different fonts here that you can mess around with which is pretty interesting um let me see sego ui i also like this font for some reason and yeah you can have different fonts well there you go guys this is a quick tutorial i hope you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up button and i will catch you in the next video thank you for watching